Oh man, isn't that- yeah, Katie. Tonight's my night. Tonight's the night I become Toonami. Oh, wait, hold on. I gotta move my webcam to appropriate doom position. <sighs> Weird, man. Weird how life- life turns out sometimes. Toonami was the best? You mean, Toonami is the best now that it has the hit show starring the vocal talents of- Oh my god, my webcam's so dark. Boy, you can't even see anything. Sorry, the hit vocal talents of one Lauren Sontag. Um, sorry, hold on a minute. My camera's been really, really funky lately. If it's like bright in here at all, uh, it blows out real hard. So I have to turn off like auto exposure, which is usually what makes it not so dark. Times are hard, you guys. Times is tough. For all of us. There we go. Doom webcam achieved. Studio mode deactivated. Game tap back in. And we're back. That's just how the pro streamers do it. Just like that. Cut up an attack on Titan. I'm not. I'm... I don't think I even started season two. So... I felt like that's the... That's a show that could, could go south. Quickly. Yep, no death run incoming. They're all no death runs, actually. Um, actually. I do watch JoJo, though I'm also not caught up on that. It's interesting how you have to balance, uh, sort of, just being good at the game, but also, like, learning little, little ways to give yourself an edge. Just, like, ways to eliminate any randomness. I see Jojo. They're just fucking awesome. Uh, I also discovered something else. A new mechanic. So, both imps and possessed soldiers will do that charge up shot. That is a one hit kill on Ultra Nightmare. Um, but they only do it if you leave them alone. Like, if you hit them, they, they drop it. Oh, that was weird! That almost killed me. All right, thought I was shooting that guy appropriately. Maybe not. Wow, I should have died. How did that not kill me? It's weird, because it's sometimes like you'll stagger them when you shoot them. And usually that makes them not fire that charge shot, but twice now. I thought I, would d I, thought I was close enough to like hit them and stagger, but I guess not. Whatever. Demons murdered. Doomslayer's happy. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, Scrub, and a line in here. Thank you for your resubs, relative. Appreciate that. Appreciate you kindly. Oh, Attack on Titan's op 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 opening? I, yeah, I never saw season two, so... I mean, that season one song is, is, it's a classic. There were some, some Naruto openings that fucking slapped back in the day. Ajimino Epo had a couple of really good ones too. If you had a stand, what would its power be? Hmm. Hmm. It would be another pair of hands so that I could play two video games at once. I'd have- I'd have astral hands. Oh! That's a fresh one. Just gonna- Oh! Almost killed by one of these assholes. Arr! That way I might actually finish GTA 5. Solid gamer answer. You know what I'm about here, man. You know what this is about. You know what we're about here. Damn it. Bad run. I 
If I make it out of the first level, there's only going to be one attempt. I don't want to do this all night. He said before he did it like eight all night. <laughs> I want to spend some time with Steph, which, you know, sometimes can be as dumb as just watching a movie together, but... We finally watched uh, House, that crazy fucking 70s Japanese horror comedy. I don't know why it took me so long. I always knew about it. I guess I never watched it. I thought I did, but I think I only watched clips. They also remade it for uh, America, didn't I think? I'm mostly dip dipping into this because I don't know if you're selling chat, Katie, but I figured that's a movie that you would be all about. Four hands, two for games, one for Mountain Dew, and one for jerking the Gurk. I can already play video games and masturbate, so I wouldn't need any extra hands for that. I've already trained, honed my abilities. Oops, not that, not that. You. For instance, did you know that I'm masturbating right now? thinking Twitch would be an exhibition to stream, but I've seen the trailer of House at a Theater, but I haven't seen it. Okay. It might be your thing. Also, we were... What were you? We, oh, yeah! I was what I watched Scream 2 last night, and I swear to God, it has a very David Lynchian guitar hook in, like, the theme of the movie. And that's so weird. I don't know if I'm, I'm reading too much into it, but it sure does feel like that was just almost a total ripoff. I mean, I guess anything Wes Craven does would be, um, would be a reference or an homage rather than a ripoff. Should pay pop proper respect. Gonna watch any Evo? Yeah, I was watching Dragon Ball Fighters uh, Top Eight earlier today, and Smash Brothers Pools. Smash is has blown up, man. It's the biggest game at the show now, right? That's wild. I'm so happy for everyone in that scene because there were some there were some rough years, some lean times in the Smash, the pro Smash community. So it's nice to have them be like so have blown up so much. That's such like that's always the the. Wonderful success story, right? Of all the people who hung out in the scene and kept running tournaments and kept trying to push the scene forward. And now it's the biggest game at Evo. Wild. I mean, I may, might play more to specifically Melee, but... Whatever, we're in the future now. Dragon Ball Fighters Grand Finals is pretty amazing. It was... Who made it? Uh, when I was watching, Chris G and Sonic Fox were still in the bracket, but there was... Uh, who's that dude from Spain? Like everybody... It was just lighting everybody up real good. Dude! Come on. Come on now. Me rob a zombie movie? I can do that. I'm not a, I'm unfortunately not an expert in Rob Zombie films, but I should be. Eh. Sonic Fox versus Oh, Goichi. Cool. Hey! I'll have to check that out then. Was Sonic Fox and Sonic Fox is in losers bracket, right? Walk on out of there. Hey, what's up, Grace? Yeah, Sonic Fox is great. Whoa! Let's let's loop around here. Rejects is the masterpiece and is playing with a new one one of these nights. Huh? Oh, Devil's Rejects. That's the that's the one I should watch. saw you down there. 
Where'd he go? Why is that one yellow? Oh, it was me. Okay. I don't know why. Why? Is it colored because of... Maybe it's the most recent one? Like this. There's another there's another dude around here somewhere. Hmm. Who is that? Oh, there you are. There we go. <clears throat> Since your Rob Zombie lecture, your Rob X talk. I need to watch more JoJo. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. I'll just fucking watch JoJo and die slowly. Maybe die quickly. The, the night is the night is my oyster. Let's crack it open and watch manly men stare at each other with sparkly eyes. All right, first level complete. That means this is the run. That's what that means. That means this game is over. I love how they kind of took the E1M1 hook and then kind of rewrote it so it still had the same punch but was a different song. So good. Their version of At Doomsgate. This is on hard? It is on the hardest losing. So it's on Nightmare, which is the hardest difficulty, which means you die in about two hits. And then also, it's on Ultra Nightmare, so when you die, it deletes your save and you have to start over. You have to beat the game in one try on the hardest difficulty. That is this mode. Yeah, who doesn't love... Hey! Hey! Oh, wait. Hello, I am Vega, the sentient intelligence assigned to Mars. After running diagnostics on the Praetor suit, it appears that I can activate optional challenges that, when completed, will assist in upgrading your arsenal at an accelerated pace. I've added a tracking component to your device. Yep, dab for fascism. Yeah, Orange... Shows like Orange the New Black do weigh on me too. And like uh, Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, like, it just puts me in a bad mood. And I'm not, I, I'm not, certainly not somebody that thinks that all media has to be uplifting or, or whatever, but... When it's just a bunch of bad people doing bad things to each other, I kind of just stop caring. Like, I just get bummed out about not caring about anything. There we go. Oops. Whatever. Oops. I was it a fresh one? It's not fun, I lose interest. Well, yeah. it's actually really hard to keep my interest in a TV show. I don't know what it is. Unless it's like... Unless it's... it's oh. I, I don't know what it is. I'm, I'm much more inclined to enjoy a movie. I guess because I know it. It's not going to try its best to manipulate me into watching more of it. It's just the one thing, so everyone's just going to shoot their best shot over the course of that one runtime. Oz is what I always wanted it to be, and it never went there. So what was the deal with Oz? I remember that being kind of a big big thing. Is it just like a really gritty prison show? It's supposed to be super realistic, maybe? Damn it. Thank you. 
for us. Oh, Atlanta's pretty great. I haven't watched more. I think I've seen two episodes of it, but yeah, it's. I really, really enjoyed what I what I watched. Oops. Netflix originals have been very political recently, but like in a bad way. Strangely, anti Aoife and the anti Antifa and the Neon Genesis Evangelion redub. What? What was that all about? I only remember them kind of changing some of the some of the verbiage in his relationship with Kaoru. Hey, Donut Cyclops. You know what? I'm glad you're here. We can chill together. We can play some Doom. We could beat the whole game. Oh, that sucks. Killed by world? God. Yeah, Netflix Witcher. That's going to be an interesting choice. I feel like people liked playing The Witcher, but I don't know if they actually cared about the world and lore of The Witcher all that much. I feel like people play Witcher similar to how people play Elder Scrolls games. Some people, pro I'm sure, some people really get into the lore, but I wouldn't say it's the majority of people. Master... Whoa! Oh, Christ. I heard, like, thump, 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 and then a fire burning. What is that sound? God. Rot fucks. I am doing pretty well. Having, I'm enjoying a nice day off. I feel like it's been forever since I've just been able to sit around and just be an asshole for a little bit. Enjoying the glory of wasting my life. Seeing the boys on Prime. I started it. I don't know that I want to finish it. It's just... It has this whole vibe of like... Not quite V for Vendetta, but maybe more like Wanted, where it's like... It's just so relentlessly cynical, and it reminds me so much of like the Holden Caulfield thing of like... Yeah, you can just talk shit about everything. Like, it's, it's not hard to find problems with things. It's harder to like... Like, think of, think of ways to make things better. I feel like... Oh! I'm dead. Oh, okay. Oh, I had the speakers up the whole time. Oops. Well. That's that then. Anyway, I uh got distracted by it. The boys has now taken so much from me. Um yeah, I feel like it's uh it's like it 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 it, it pretends like it's an intelligent message to say superheroes couldn't really exist cuz they'd be bad. I'm like, oh, fine." I'm like, "Fine, man. What else?" Like, what, what else do you have to say? And it's just that. It's just that a million times. Yeah, I'm stopping now. I was just gonna try once and see how far I could get. You ever thought about a sympatical? Not really, no. Um, it'd be pretty cool to take one, but... Yeah, sorry, Kala. But yeah, I don't know. I I had a real problem with Starlight's character. Because she did, like, through her actions, demonstrated that she doesn't actually care about being a hero. So her being the, like, mor moral savior of the show undoes itself. And, like, she didn't even think, oh. It's like she had to have the dude tell her that she could quit to even think about that. Like, if she actually wanted to be a hero, she would have just quit. The second the dude was, like, the second the dude propositioned her, she would have just quit. And gone back to just saving saving her, uh, people her own way. But no, she actually wants the fame or something. So it, she's not... I don't, I don't think the show even understands that. I don't think the writing understands that. How far are you then? Like three, four episodes in? Something like that? I just got... I was like, eh. This is just gonna carry on, like, believing that it's smart for pointing out, for, like, just making things gritty. Like, I got up to where there was, like, there's, like, a, a super drug that you inject with a needle, and I'm like, of course you fucking tie surgical tubing around your arm and inject it. And I'm just like, like, it's just all right, I'm just like, whatever. Uh, her arc changes? Ah. I didn't... Nothing about the beginning made me want to keep watching it where I'm at, so everyone seems to like it, but I I'm I don't need cyni cynicism in my life. <sighs> Drug is major later on. I don't have a problem with its existence. I have a problem with its like depiction. They make it look like heroin. I'm just like just because that that's the grittiest thing. So eh. I don't need it. 
has nothing to teach me, as I think what I would say. Uh, Alright. I'm gonna wrap it up there. That was a shorty. <laughs> Short little bonus run. But, alright. Why don't you guys have a good weekend for me? Why don't you do that? Um, I may not hit my normal time tomorrow, because I'm doing something in the middle of the day. I may not stream at all. We'll see how it shakes out. I find I'm doing stuff with stuff, but... See you guys later. Wanna watch Jojo live with us? Uh, no, I'm, I'm not gonna stay at my computer. I'm gonna go over there. So, see you guys. Until next time. Vincent, whose friends thought he could pass as conventional. He put what little money he had into a suit and haircut. A cyberpunk in businessman's clothing, he approached the big companies for support. Basically, what we have here are the extremes of contemporary computing. Um, we have an Apple Macintosh. On the other hand, we have an AT&T pixel machine which is a massive parallel processing supercomputer. And the intermediary at this point is a Sun Microsystems 3260, which currently does the interpreting uh, of the data and feeds it to the pixel machine. Um, we also have a couple really nice monitors that came along with it. You know, 19 inch color and 19 inch high res for text. Um, this was a gift uh, from AT&T. This is faster than all the computing power that launched an Apollo spaceship. I mean, um, we're on the fast track. Let's, you know, extend the definition of property holders. Let's, let's, you know, let's try and believe that we, we do own something. I mean, maybe that's what we can share with what's going on over, you know, the miracles that are happening, you know, that we read about in the papers in the East, um, is let's extend the definition of property holders. Armed with their free supercomputer pixel machine from AT&T, the group Process Animation produced their bizarre punk graphics.